Who's going to make the playoffs? How many more dead rubbers are left in this tournament? Pommy and Bangwa, how good is he? And will I shave my head if one team makes the finals? Let's find out. Hello and welcome back to the Morning After IPL on The Great Cricketer, brought to you by ACO, India's tech first, say it with me now, insurance company. Uh, Sam Perry, uh, a weekend of action. It looked hot as fuck in Mumbai uh, on Saturday. Guys dripping, uh, especially David Miller. Uh, in the Gujarat Titans shirt. Really? Yeah, it's like as uh, it looked moist. That's not a bad optic. That's a very good optic, let me tell you. David Miller in a Titans shirt. Oh, that got me through most of the weekend because mm. I missed church on Sunday, you see. I know. Just missed it. Um, okay, what happened in the weekend, over the weekend, Pez? Let's get into the first thing here of the first, of, first of the three things. Uh, Gujarat finish on top. They played against CSK. Uh, CSK in Moscow, of course. And CSK, they won the toss. They go, you know what? We'll have a stick here. We're going to do our best. And we're going to go roughly six and over. Um, because it's 1989. They finished 133 for five. That was do, a good clip in 89. Because <laughs> well, they were using fucking toothpicks. Toothpicks for sticks. Toothpicks for sticks. Something Name in the that. third book. <laughs> it's the name of my garage and band. dicks. Um, <laughs> Stick in my dick, yeah. Uh, Guy Quad back in the runs, 53 off 49. Again, very uh, uh, an innings which made me harp back to an, uh, a simpler time before the internet. 53 or 49, still run a board, better than I've ever done in my entire life. Um, CSK made four changes to their team pairs from the last game. They've got two games left, nothing to play for, of course. And it felt it felt a bit like, what are we doing here, guys, with this one? Uh, won the toss, 133 for five. Uh, um, Gaikwa gets out with four overs to go, and like the crowd's just fucking, they just want Dhoni. They want MSD to come out. Give us Dhoni, give us Dhoni. Shivam Dubey comes out. Uh, gets a second ball duck, and then Donny comes in, and then he gets seven off nine. I don't know what this game of cricket is, <laughs> but they've I guess Gujarat have done well. They're the best team. Anything to take away from the first innings? Uh, um, well, Mo Shami's seam presentation. Sure. Yeah. I think it. I think it bears calling out, and we've called it out many times before. Yeah. But it's a hell of a presentation. Yeah. Uh what else have I got here? <laughs> Guy cords thicker than he seems. <laughs> you, you said that in the live stream last <laughs> night. This face I've got a thicker. couple of points. You know? Hey, Pez, what about this? What about zero boundaries in the last five overs for CSK? I mean, hey, not, look, that, not here's shocking. What, here's what I'll say because you were chronologically going through the innings. I was, I've just, I was just ticking it off, going, yeah, yep. that's all. Yep. That's everything that that's happened. That's what happened. Yep. Um, look, a broader analysis is that uh, GT confirmed themselves as being in the top two, right? So they're going to go. I know we're talking first innings here, but they're going to go. Let's, let's cut to the chase. They're going to go. Um, they're going to get a shot to get into the final, and then they're going to get a second bite of the cherry. Yeah. Because when you play in the playoffs in yeah. any fi- any yeah. format across any sport, mm. it's actually just a series of cherry tasting. Well, isn't it just uh, one cherry? Yeah. And and people have that often in oh, two it's bites. One, yeah, but every team is. It's just a ginormous cherry. Yeah. And some you know some when you're a good child, you can have two bites of that. Now, if you being ever, a good boy. Uh, if you've ever had a grape, and I have, it, w- have you ever eaten that in two two bites? Have you done? Have you ever eaten a grape in installments? Not me. Some for now, some for later. No, I don't. No, no way. Just, <laughs> just get in your gullet. Get as many in the gullet as possible. <laughs> like a, like a pelican, yeah, or like a, like, oh, pop, oh, like oh, popcorn, oh. fucking dripping out of my hands. I like just dripping out my hands. Uh, yeah. So they're gonna get two bites of that cherry. Yeah, and couple what of bites. I just wanted to say about this game is that. Mm-hmm. CSK are big dogs They're heavyweights A lot of yellow in the crowd A lot of names That yeah, make you feel something A lot right. of visceral stuff going on sure. there's, there's history There's prestige A couple of Good rats are complete opposite We're like what the fuck's this What is it I like the way the shirt Sits on David Miller Shul McGill's got good skin yep. There we go You yep. know it's Five steps How do I know that mm. mm-hmm. And uh, So so, Yeah but like Gujarat just Knock him over like a team who's at the top of the table would against a team at the bottom of the table. And yeah. that's what was interesting about this game mm-hmm. is that it didn't have that sense of like, well, CSK could just knock them off here and we don't have a clue. Like this actually start, it starts to look like, no, one team is good, yeah. one team is shit, one yeah. team's on the beach, one team's going to the finals. Mm. Uh, and I just thought uh, Gujarat just controlled the game. So in the second half of the innings, uh, uh, Gujarat gets it three down with five balls left. So they took it kind of deep, I guess. Well, it goes in the last yeah, over. Fine. Um, screenshots of Haar gets 50, he gets his 50 or 42 balls, and he gets 67 or 57, hits the winning runs. Um, but I want to talk about 
Uh, Mate, screenshots has got the bit between his teeth. You like it? Mate, big you time. Like it? It, yeah. it, it, ever since- What is the bit? Oh, uh, the, the craftsmanship of batting. Uh, yeah, but yeah, but when okay, yeah, okay, and and yep. the en- and the energy of a yeah. man who has won a conflict. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. He's walking tall. He screenshots. Fu- you know what? He fucking kept some receipts. He kept the receipts on that exchange. Absolutely. And why? And I, and I and I like it. Mm. A couple of devastating pull shots. He looks fucking flat neat. bats. Yeah. yeah, he looks neat at the moment. Screenshots. Mm-hmm. I'll talk to him all day. Yeah. And I, and when we do invite him for an interview, yeah. we will not be. Um, Giving him scenarios that, you know, are meant to intimidating him into saying yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but I want to talk about uh, this young guy from Candy, Paterana. Uh, yeah. He, he gets Shubman Gill out first ball. Oh, wasn't that? And, was okay, so I've never seen this guy before, and I'm going to guess the rest of the world hasn't really. He's played either. He's played one first-class game, um, two T20 games. This is his first game in the IPL. It's Malinga. It's the same action as Malinga, and it's fucking raw. This is this is absolute raw dog stuff. He's raw dogging it. He's raw dogging. He's it. raw dogging That's it. It's a big call. Yeah, he's raw dogging it. And the best thing about it, Pez, Pommy and Bangor on commentary, absolutely fucking. He he's nails fro- it. it was frothing. He nails it. <laughs> Get your foot out the way. <laughs> Get your foot out the way. Oh, he's, he's the best. He's the best for me. I wasn't expecting it when I was watching the bowling. And no, so no, I've never when seen it before. Had, like it, it, it's running in. Yeah, and it, you just yeah 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 and of and you just go ah oh, it. He's another fast medium. Yeah, quick. Yeah. He's a young, fast medium, quick whose yep. body hasn't filled out. Right. Still, is still a bit of a coat hanger kind of yeah. setup. Mm-hmm. He'll fill out. It's all good. That's what I'm thinking as he's running it. It's two seconds. It's a long run up. Yeah. It's, no, not really. Just, <laughs> just goes, the thoughts coat going hanger. Yeah. It'll fill yeah. out. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and then at the last minute when it just tra- yeah, transitions into the Malinga action with yeah. just the whiplash oh. speed of the arm, yeah. you, you're already going, ah, yeah. like it's not what I'm used to. Mm-hmm. And then it just blows Shubman's front pad off yeah. as well. Yeah, with a, bit of, with, a bit of, with a bit of reverse tang. It, and it looked like, Sh- yeah, exactly. <laughs> looked like Shubman wasn't, you know, he was having the same thoughts as me as Paterano yeah. was running in. He yeah. didn't know what to expect. No. Blows his front pad off and then Pommy just nails he it. nails just, it. Just, ah, like yeah. everyone's just going, yeah. yeah. They call him the second Malinga. <laughs> get <laughs> your foot out the way. It was after the review. Which is a shame. Just get, uh, get rid. Get rid. Get okay, rid. Pez, I also want to talk about, now I'm going to introduce you right now, in this moment. I'll say the heartache as well. Um, TJC's tactical timeout. Oh, beauty. Because yes. a very inconsequential moment in the match happened. Well, I mean, not in, I mean, okay, what happened was Guy Quad dropped screenshot mm. at points badly. He dropped it badly. Mm-hmm. And it was just in that time of the evening at the dappled light yeah. at the Wankity Stadium there. Yeah. Wankity. How do you say it? Um, that looks like a nice name actually by the water there. Uh, you actually got a bowl first when the tide's in. Um, and it's just when like the, the ball just goes just above head, head height. And then that's when the sun's in his eyes. It's in, it's in Guy Quad's eyes and he loses the ball. Now his problem is he's got sunglasses on his hat. He's put the sunglasses on his hat. And now this is what I want to talk about. Now is your dilemma because if you drop a catch and you're not wearing sunglasses or even a hat and you lose the ball in the sun, Perfect excuse. I lost in the sun. The sun's hot. I lost. I couldn't see it. What, what am I supposed to do? But here's his problem. He's got he's got the adequate protection available to him. He's got the resources available to him, and he's not applied them. Now, what does he do when he drops the catch? Does he then go and put the sunglasses on? Does he does he feign injury? Does he uh, gesticulate that he lost the ball in the sun, even though that was obvious because he sort of like was protecting his face in the end? But what does he do? Because the resources are available on top of his head. What does he do? He didn't, uh, he, the answer was he didn't do anything, but what, what would you... Yeah, yeah. What, what do you do to essentially um, discard any accountability from yourself Thank is you. what you mean, right? Yes. Well, I'm probably gesticulating very specifically that it wasn't quite a sun issue because the sun's in my head, but when yeah. you're square of the wicket, more of a depth perception issue. Oh, okay. It's, you, you've oh, actually, crap, rather, than, rather than hand in front of the eyes, it's you've got yeah. to push back and forward a little bit. It's yeah. Just, oh, just... Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and out of the crowd as yep. well. So stuff where the sunnies aren't really the issue. Okay, though, though it was the issue. Yeah, I would have gone for more, uh, like a, more of a heroic angle where I've actually saved for. I've, I've, I've done my finger in. I, pro- I might have a look at going off the field. Yeah, get, get some tape finger, work done. Yeah, but wouldn't that just cause people to go? You've, you've actually added, added injury to insult. You know, it's like you, you've, you've, you're so yeah. clumsy. You've dropped the catch and you've fucked your body up as well. <laughs> Like is that? He's got, you've, you've got an ACL. Like, what is it in the logic where it's like, oh, well, he's done his finger, so it must have been a tough catch. Well, it also gets itself off the field. Although yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Show, it shows at least the ball was hit hard. Yeah, you know they say 
when you drop a catch, you, you just want to crawl into a hole. Yes. Imagine if every ground had a hole. Yeah, a little fox You could hole. go into yeah. like, And everyone just, you could go in once a game. You know how I, they... I, I, I reckon it'd get good use. You know, some, they don't have it anymore because all grounds in Australia anyway are football grounds now, but they used to have like a compartment on the grounds like, a, like yes. where they kept helmets. And, or the new ball sometimes as yeah, well. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. So now it's a manhole. Yeah. <laughs> and you can just crawl in. Or like a captain can send you in. They can send two in. And like you just put, you know, you drop a catch... I'm good to go here, and you. Oh, I got it. And then you just yeah. go. You just go down yeah. the ladder. You sit down. Yeah. What's in there? Yeah, a little ref, a little fridge re- or something. Refreshments. Yeah, yeah. I got to tell you, I reckon, reckon Marnus would spend a lot of time in there if a, if a captain had a choice. <laughs> Marnus get in the hole. There are plenty of older blokes who spend time in dungeons too. <laughs> get in the dungeon anyway. Hey, good time out. Um, that's what happened. Uh, that's what happened in this game. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's get into the second thing though. Uh, the other game that happened. What later. about punches shaking everyone's hand with one run to win? <laughs> Alpha. I think it's kind of funny. Alpha. Yeah, it's a six balls to go. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's Job obviously done. over. Job but done. I hope it's ironic. Like, I hope he's doing mm. it just like, hey, boys, you know, hey, we're, boys. We're, we're, we're confident here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, well, screenshots, and you've seen them, yeah. you've seen them large. Uh, second thing, Rajasthan moved to second. They leapfrog above... <laughs> LSG, like a frog leaps, as we've all seen on uh, lily pads, etc. Just uh, on that, sorry, I just have to say this. Have to. Mourinho v Roy Keane was it? Was it? Was it? Was Keane managing somewhere? And Sunderland, maybe. Yeah, and Mourinho at the the game wasn't over yet, but Chelsea had won the game and just wa- and walked up to shake his hand. Oh yeah, and that sounds. Keane's like it's not over. Not over. Like yeah. and he's just, he's just sitting there like that. There's yeah. a bit of that kind of gear, like yeah, Hardy. Like just it. like, could you imagine him going to like Ricky Ponting in that situation? One like Ponting just be like. Nope. Wouldn't have thought so, mate. <laughs> anyway, I kind of like it. It's a funny game. I kind of like it. Uh, Rajasthan batted first, got 178. 4 6. LSG Forney falling 24 runs short, 154 for 8 in that game. So, yeah, Rajasthan uh, go above LSG. Um, Matthew Hayden on commentary described, he was calling Rajasthan double R's, the double R's. Now, I've got to say, to be fair to Doss, who has just lost, uh, obviously, one of his closest friends. We'll talk about Andrew Simons right at the end here, um, out of respect. But, uh, Andrew, um, Matthew Hayden on commentary uh, would have lost one of his closest friends. Like still going to work, giving entertainment to the people. So I want to give credit there to Doss yep. uh, for turning up. Uh, so in 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 the double R's innings, um, runs for Jaiswal, uh, Sampson, Padikal, uh yep. No fifties there, but just some starts, some thirties mm. and forties, if you will. And I know quick, you will. Quick too, like like good, yeah, cool, pretty sharp, good clip, clip stuff. Good clip, Padikal. Clip. Uh, but of course, we're going to talk about when Ashwin runs out, Jimmy Nation. Of course, we're going to of course we're going to talk about it now. Ashwin, to be fair. Was trying to cross. So what happened was um, Ashwin pushed the ball to cover. Nisham's the non-strikers end. I think I think Ashwin does a yes, no. Um, Nisham gets about three quarters way down the wicket and he thinks that they've crossed and so Ashwin is going to be run out because they want to keep Nisham at the crease. Also, nice to see Jimmy Nisham get a game here for the double R's. Um, but then it turns out they go to the review and Jimmy Nisham has not crossed Ashwin. So it's actually Nisham run out. But Ashwin's all the way at the boundary now. So now they have to... It goes to the third umpire, and then they have to cross back over. At this time, Ashwin gives a little glove punch to Nisham. Uh, <laughs> so I think I think, he, I think he was saying sorry, to be fair. But I do like the idea that I've run you out. A little glove punch for me to let me carry on with my life. That's satisfying. I, Could I, it have been – agree. Could it also have been a bit of like um, – Definitely, what I'm about to say. Definitely. What I'm about to say is, <laughs> has happened. A bit of like, I want the world to know that I was trying to get off the field <laughs> – for yeah. the tactical um, yeah, yeah, yeah. outing, which is which he's a fan of, sure, he he's, he's very good at knowing how yeah. to get himself off the field yeah. when he's not out. That's <laughs> right. When, that's when he hasn't right. been tra- traditionally right. or typically dismissed. That's right. But he maybe just wanted people to know, like I was just going, I was just I was, doing the selfless thing there. That's like, right. I've, I know full well that I'm in, and I knew what I was doing <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> uh, he's probably a good guy. Um, in the uh, in the second innings of that game, uh, Trent Bolt does some damage up top. He gets Quinton the cock out. He gets out cutting again. It's like the third time I've seen Quinton the cock get out at like mm, quarter point. Right. It's almost like they're bowling to it. So they, they sort of stack the offside all three times I've seen him get caught there. Um, and then uh, Bodoni gets out quickly afterwards with, I think, so far the worst review of I've seen of the tournament. It looked absolutely plumb live. Hit him in front of middle uh, in the review. And then he halfway up middle. Uh, the conclusion of that review. So that's uh, it's always satisfying to see, but always going to burn one. Uh, I'd be doing the exact same thing. Um, Sandra Sampson, of course, as well, but the worst stumping of the tournament uh, when he stumped mm. Deepak off Jahal there. Uh, just clumsy, not neat at all, but uh, effective, I suppose. But um, I like clean. Yeah, we all like clean gloves, right? Ben, folks. I'd be very suspicious of anybody who yeah. did not like clean gloves. With a dirty glove. Exactly. Say no more. OJ. Kayla Rahul, can he play anymore? <laughs> 
He's got 10 score 100. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. Same with Butler. Only mm. got two in this game. Yeah, that's right. No hundreds for Butler for a long time. Yeah, that's it's right. Getting quite close to Collie numbers. Is he at the okay? Moment. Yeah, he's, he's, he's dead trouble. Yeah, okay, Josh. <laughs> Josh. Good. I'm one of those guys. Can't talk. Uh, so that's what's happened in that game. Now, let's get into the third thing here, Pez. I look at the table and the week ahead. Okay. Uh, so now there's basically there's six teams that can that can finish second. There are six teams that can finish third and fourth. Only three of those teams will do that. Uh, uh, okay, so Rajasthan have probably already qualified unless they get absolutely pumped in their last game against CSK. It probably won't happen. I mean, even if they lose, they've got enough net run rate, they've got enough points to qualify. So I think they're in. LSG's last Top game. Top four, you're saying? Top four. It qualifies. Top yeah. four. Um, LSG's last game is against KKR. KKR realistically gone. They can only make 14 points. I think I think you're going to have to get 16 points to qualify here, is my opinion. RCB's last game is against the already qualified Gujarat Titans. Now, RCB, they're run, they're now Gujarat play the kids. Yeah, they're going to play the kids. So they're in kids there. No. <laughs> kids worth about 1.3 million US. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, RCB. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Coley giving yeah. Shubman Gill a guard of honour. <laughs> I like that. That's yeah. good. Uh, even if RCB win, their net run rate is so bad that I think that they're. I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna struggle now. Delhi and Punjab is tonight, and that is that's the big game. Whoever wins that game will go into fourth. That's tonight. I thought it was yeah. Just, yeah. Uh, okay. And then Delhi's Delhi's last game is against MI. And Punjab's last game is against SRH, who are also gone. So right. I think whoever wins this game tonight is going to is going to leapfrog RCB and get into four. So I think I think that the playoffs are going to be Gujarat, Rajasthan, LSG, and Punjab. I think they're going to beat Delhi. Okay. That's what I think. Yep. And I've been wrong once before, never in cricket, but mm-hmm. yeah, that was a separate thing. I don't really want to talk about it. Okay. I, I have no basis from which to make any predictions on this godforsaken <laughs> tournament, really. Like, yeah. it just, it's just so Mate, up and I, down. But I, I, yeah. I, I think that's... That's pretty good. That's pretty good logic. I here's what I want to talk about, mate. This this is it's been a very even tournament, and that is exciting in itself. Let's it? say, well, yeah, I think it is. I but like, let's say the let's say the let's say I'm right with the playoffs. Gujarat, Lucknow, Rajasthan, Punjab. It's not. It, there's no. There's no fucking like giants. I want. I want to walk with giants. That's how you create playoffs. giants. Though, of isn't course, it? yeah. The tournament's only like a decade old or whatever. I saw, you know, a bit more, but I want a giant in there. You know, I want some names. I mean, they've all got names, but I want giants, Mm -hmm. you know? I want concrete. One of the great, like one of the seven narratives of the world is is the David Goliath stuff. So you, and where are the Goliaths? Yeah. Who's a Goliath that can be knocked over? (laughs) For a couple of... (laughs) I'm going to be confused with Tim David. He's at the bottom of the table. He's right at the bottom. Yeah. (laughs) David Miller. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Okay. Yeah. Okay. What do you mean for David Miller's in there? Got autism, son. Yeah. Uh so yeah, I, yeah, I know, I know what you mean. But they're like those teams have good players. I, I, but yeah, I'm more like I, I, I reject the, um, the even argument. As in, like, I know you're not, you're not pushing it, but like, it's a, it's a little bit of spin for me. Like, I, I've, I've been a bit disappointed with like the inconsistency of Delhi, for example. Yeah. Like Del- Delhi have played in a manner. Um, win loss, win loss, and that kind of stuff that has left a kind of a confectedly exciting finish of will they, won't they? Yeah, um, make it to the mm-hmm. finals, mm-hmm. Um, like massage, <laughs> like a massage. <laughs> Everyone's thinking it the entire time. The massage, will they, won't they? Completely paradoxical. Like that, what you to, will to, to relaxing, you know? <laughs> Just in my head the will entire they, time. Will, will they, they, will they, won't they? Will they, won't they? Massage. <laughs> I'm sitting here on this bed naked. Will they, won't they? They keep your underwear. Will on. they? Won't they? What? Uh, anyway, um, oh, it's thrown me. But uh, like the fact that they've been so inconsistent, uh, like to me, doesn't hasn't increased the excitement. <laughs> Delhi are a will they? Won't they? Massage. Just say it. Does Does the shop have the flashing lights <laughs> or not? <laughs> When you go behind, the, is a cur- is a curtain like just a bead? It's just beads. Is it is it a little bit sketchy? That's what I want to know. <sighs> hashtag RCDC brought to you by Akko. Ethan wrote in Pez. He said, hashtag RCDC. I've got a dare for you guys here. Now, this was well received in the comment section last video or a couple of videos ago. 
He said, I've got a dare for you here. In the unlikely circumstances of an RCB IPL win, if they do win, you got to go bald. And Sam has to wear a wig until Ian's hair grows back. What are the chances? Uh, I, 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 two points, three points. Okay. Mm-hmm. One, me fans are stupid pigs. <laughs> Okay. Two. It's two of my points. Two. Yeah. Yeah. Um, whoever said it was right, we have a lot of fifteen-year-old fans. Yeah. Three. I'll do it. And my end. Okay. I'll, yeah. I'll wear a wig all day. I don't care. You got to wear a wig. That that that's it's 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 a, it's a two-part deal. You well, got to wear a wig until I, my hair grows back. I, I guess let's define what hair growing back means. Good point. How much hair must grow back? I mean, really, the question is because it's so horrendous to think about being bald. Yeah. You know whether you would relegate yourself to such uh, salad nudity. I um, well as you know, I'm like. Would Samson. you relegate yourself to such salad nudity, mate? I'm like Samson, Sandry Samson. That is, um, I, when I read this comment, I was like, why? Why would I do that? That was the last, the last thing I thought. Why? And and I feel on some level that the <laughs> the butt of the joke is that it's funny to be bald, and if you were bald, and am I meant to be? Ah, oh, right. Okay. Am I meant to? I suppose so. Is that is that is that funny being bald? Whatever your name is, Ethan. <laughs> I guess I guess it Alfred. is. <laughs> I guess it is. Um, all right. Well, well, um, um, well, let's answer it. You're going to do that, mate. If RCB win, will yeah. you shave your head completely bald? Yeah, I'll wear sure. a wig. What sort of wig will I wear? Cleopatra. Nice. I I'll, I'll go you down some cornrows. Yeah, cornrow wig. Yeah. You down with that? I'll, I'll, I'll happily do it at my end, but the big one is for you. Will you yeah. go bald? RCB won't make the playoffs, so yeah, I'll do it if RCB win the tournament. You can't say that unless you actually if they win. You can't say that unless I can you, say whatever I want. Are you going to do it is if they win? Ethan going to come over and shave my head? Well, it's a you like know, if you if you put if you say yes to a bet, like you, you've got to be impeccable with your word on it. So if you're going to say that, what? Who says well, no, that? you don't have. Sorry, <laughs> if you want to be regarded as a man of integrity, again, when did I ever say that? Say what? That I'm a man of integrity. Well, we'll see, I guess. No, yeah, sorry. I, I presume you're interested in being a man of integrity. No, sorry. that's your mistake. Yes, it yeah. is. I've made a mistake. Okay, well, okay. at least we've proved you're yeah. not a man of integrity. Okay. Yeah. No, most people, mate, yeah. most people, that's not a good thing. No, no, no. no, no, no. no. For most, yeah, yeah. but for yeah. me, no yeah. dramas. But it's kind of reverse integrity, isn't it? Because you've just been authentic about not being of integrity. So you, that's mate, quite that's, a paradox. That's a bit of integrity there. Ah, I've done myself in here. It's more well, if you, you have done. What am I? <laughs> What am I? Who am I? What is this? Will you, will you shave your head if I see me Um, No, I'm not going to do would that. Would you clip her? Would you go to... Would you go I'm getting a haircut two? on Tuesday. No, that's not what I asked. <laughs> getting very specific about this Would you this get dare. a clipper? Um, no. You look... I think you'd look good, though. Thanks. I don't I don't need it. I don't we'll need it because Ethan... Yeah I, don't, yeah, I don't want it. We'll get some numbers. We'll do some no, numbers. He, no, but here's the thing about... Okay, we've spoken way too long about that. Okay, but here's the thing, though, because like people like tune in like every fucking fifth video or whatever, right? Yeah. Whenever something interesting happens, I'll, I'll, have, I'll have a look at it. Or whenever it pops up in the algorithm. So like, if all of a sudden I'm just like, I've got a number one, and they'll be like, no, we'd promote, on there? We'd promote it. Oh, I wouldn't have thought so. If I said they make the final, do you, can you imagine the interest around? We'd probably have to go live on actually clippering your head. And so now we're, it's, just a, it's just a clipper now. Okay. And I'll but, clip it. But now it's a commercial proposition. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, a couple of fifteen-year-olds getting off on you shaving your head. Mm. <laughs> what do you do for work, Dad? It's a new low for what do you do for work, Dad? Mm. <laughs> Was it worth it, Malcolm? <laughs> uh, good I don't know. All right. Uh, well, that's what happened on the IPL over the weekend. Uh, there is a video coming out on this channel. It could already be out by the time you watch this. There's no point saying it. Just uh, you know, subscribe. Uh, let's talk about. Let's talk about the thing. And and finally, yeah. uh, R.I.P. Roy, uh, yeah. Andrew Simon. So, right. uh, w- people who tuned into the live show last night would have heard a few reflections from us on it. But just wanted to say for those who just tune in regularly to the show that uh, you know we're shocked and it's shocking. And um, he he owned, it was. This isn't even 48 hours old, really. So I think yeah. there's a lot of processing that needs to be done. It's just unbelievable. So many <laughs> so many Australian cricketers, former Australian cricketers, um, have died. Uh, and But but this in isolation is just uh, it's shocking. And you really feel for his friends and his family. He was an absolute gun of a player. He was brilliant to watch. 143, not out. Against Pakistan was, com- was just unforgettable. It was one of the great one-day innings in Australian um, history. Uh, he was... As John T. Rose says, um, the greatest all-time, the greatest all-round fielder. 
He could bowl medium pace. He could bowl off spin. He, he got dudded by Cricket Australia during the Monkey Gate scandal, and I think it cost him a couple of years, but he still gave us plenty of memories, and um, you know a lot of his mates will be hurting deeply uh, because of this, and, and our heart goes out to them and, and his family. Yeah, beautifully said, mate. Uh, thank you as ever for watching The Great Cricketer. Uh, thanks, Waco, for getting behind us on this stuff, and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys later on the internet. Cheers.